My name is Alan Curry, AB Curry Contracting. Been in business for 32 years. Do complete site work, demolition, and on-site crushing. What made me get into crushing? Well, we started with a small demolition job, and there was a large amount of concrete and rock on the job, and I was looking for an economical way to get rid of the material. And a crusher was mentioned to me, so we had actually rented a crusher, which I purchased, and we were able to turn the material into clean backfill. So there really was nothing that left the site. It was a big saving. Hello, my name is Jeff Runyuk. I'm with GT Mid-Atlantic and I'm in charge of our material processing division. We cover a mid-Atlantic region of the country, which is five boroughs in New York, all of New Jersey, Maryland, and Delaware. So when A.B. Curry approached us for his asphalt project, we first initially went out and took a look at the material to try and get him the proper machine for what he was intending the material size to be. Um, it was a local contractor that I've worked with for many years. He built his own asphalt plant, which is a state-of-the-art wrap plant. And there was a need to produce the wrap. And we, we actually devised a system with the crusher and the screener to provide the proper size wrap. Well, at the asphalt plant, we take chunk material, and we also take incoming millings as well and we will, the chunks will go through the crusher into the screen or we will also load the screen direct with millings and process it that way. Uh, so the overall solution is obviously the wrap, the top coat and the base coat. So how it runs in conjunction with the crusher is, is the 10,500 is a triple deck feeding into the RM70 or RM100 dependent on maintenance. That does the chunk asphalt and the recirculation from the screener. And on the back side of that, he feeds it with a loader with millings. Well, to find the, the perfect, really, way to process the material, it was trial and error for sure. We tried different equipment, different ways, um, different screens. It was trial and error for a while. I mean, we've been crushing for over 20 years, so the experience definitely came in. And um, I think we've perfected it now. So a lot of people overlook things in material processing that bigger is better. And that's not necessarily the case. It's cost per ton. And the number one goal that we try to teach our customers is your cost per ton, your dumping fees, and let's get it down where it's manageable. If we didn't come in to create this wrap product, the asphalt plant would be forced to use only virgin materials, which would essentially triple the cost of the asphalt itself, the final product. Like I said, we're part of a job we had, site work job we had, was all rock. So it was either don't do the job or crush. So what breaks GT Mid-Atlantic and Rubble Master apart from our competitors is our knowledge, uh, our equipment, and obviously RM as a backer. It's just been great over the years. I've been dealing personally with uh, RM and GT Mid-Atlantic for over seven years, and we have grown together. Our number one goal is our customers, our employees, and obviously our vendors. <laughs>